Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Hamilton, I'm a creative technologist and entrepreneur, and here I typically go into the behind the scenes of how I'm building the software um, and art and businesses um, that I create and share, uh, all the way from the ideation of the base idea to the execution and building of that idea, um, and all the way, hopefully, to uh, actually making money off of that. In this video, I will be going into how um, Dragon Age Origins runs on uh, Ubuntu. A little bit of a tangent from um, the usual videos that I put out here, uh, but I wanted to talk about Ubuntu and um, video gaming on the platform um, as it's kind of my operating system of choice. So first let's talk about um, gaming on Ubuntu. So I think that there are a lot of video game systems that people have. People play on Xbox, people play on PlayStation, you know, Windows computer, Mac computer, um, but often Ubuntu is not the uh, first system that comes to people's minds as something that they would use to game. Um, and that's for a lot of reasons. Um, I think the biggest reason is just that there aren't as many games um, that are directly built for Ubuntu. I've been using Ubuntu for a really long time. Uh, I really like the operating system. Um, it's free, it's open source, um, it's very stable and powerful. In fact, Ubuntu servers, um, in particular Linux servers, are uh, running a majority of um, software um, and services on the planet. So you think of things like Netflix, you think of things like Amazon, you think of things like um, any kind of services that are running on these cloud platforms. Um, for the most part, those things are running on Linux and a lot of those are running on Ubuntu. Um, so I, you know, I'm a software engineer by day and I really like to kind of have a consistent um, workflow. Um, and for me, Ubuntu has been a really great um, trade-off of usability um, and having all my personal stuff, um, including video games, as well as all my productivity stuff like software engineering um, and being flexible with the operating system um, and, and very performant and stuff. So that, that's why I, I chose Ubuntu itself. Um, now, as I mentioned, Ubuntu is not necessarily a first class for um, video gaming. And this is really just because developers haven't um, put the time and effort to create video games specifically for the Ubuntu operating system. Um, one analogy for this is how there are some apps that work um, on Android but maybe don't work on iOS and vice versa. Um, there's nothing wrong with either operating system but um, some developers choose to only do one versus the other. So that's kind of where we are in the state of Ubuntu gaming. Now the way to um, kind of bridge this gap, uh, there's been a lot of different efforts. Um, one of those main efforts, and that is built into Steam, which is uh, one of the leading um, software and video game launchers um, on the planet, um, is Proton, um, which is built by Valve, the creators of Steam. Um, and Proton is basically a compatibility layer that uh, tries to fill in some of the the differences between Windows and Ubuntu to make it such that you can play Windows games on um, Ubuntu um, as if it was built directly for it. I won't go into how exactly Proton works. Um, I think that's a little bit too much for this video, but just know that um, the whole idea behind it is if you take a Windows game um, and you run it in Proton, it should work on Ubuntu um, more or less as if it was just running directly on Windows. So now this kind of bridges that gap between um, Ubuntu and some of the other operating systems because now a lot of games work for both. There's a great website um, called ProtonDB, um, which I'll link to down in the comments, which has an entire suite and selection of video games that uh, work now through Proton, so you can play them on Ubuntu as if it was native um, for Ubuntu. So that's the basics of um, kind of gaming on Ubuntu and how it works and kind of the state of the world around that. Um, now I'm going to dive into Dragon Age Origins itself. I'm going to use Dragon Age Origins as kind of an example of um, what you can expect when you are uh, gaming uh, on Ubuntu as opposed to some of these other like first class um, operating systems um, and kind of as a test drive for um, other videos like this. So if you enjoy this video um, and like it, uh, hit subscribe um, so that I know that this content's interesting um, and maybe I'll go and create some more. As we go into Dragon Age Origins, just keep in mind that this was released in 2009, so this is more than a decade old. Some of these artifacts, some of these visual issues, these gameplay issues that I bring up may not be because of Proton, that might just be because um, we are running a decade old video game on modern hardware, which it wasn't necessarily built for. Um, but I think it's, 
it's most authentic if I just share some of the issues that we ran into, um, and then uh, people can kind of compare their own experiences as well. I've split the uh, issues that I've run into into two categories. One is issues, which are things that I think directly impact gameplay, um, and thus could be considered breaking and might um, cause someone to not want to uh, play this particular title on Proton. Um, the other one I've, uh, the other category is quirks, which are things that I think are wrong, that aren't quite working the way that they should or optimally, um, but I don't think actually affects gameplay, so just something to keep in mind. The first big issue that I see is windowing. So um, this is an issue that I see often in many different titles. Um, so here is an example of Dragon Age Origins 2, um, the next series in the, the title also running on Proton having this issue. Um, where if you unfocus the game panel, um, so you could do that by like clicking on another monitor if you have multiple monitors or doing an alt tab, um, this is actually going to instant crash the game. I don't know why this is, but I have a feeling it's something to do with the compatibility um, layer software, so um, just keep this in mind. Um, if you just save often, it's probably not going to be a big deal, um, but just know that if you like to multitask a lot while you game. The next issue I see um, often with uh, Proton games and that I did also see in Dragon Age Origins is instant crashes or random crashes. Um, it's unclear what actually causes this, but every now and then you'll just get a crash um, for whatever reason. Uh, I don't think this is something that only happens in Proton, um, and I, this only happened to me about three times in the 60 plus hours that I, I played this title. Um, so I don't see it as that big of an issue, but just something to keep in mind. The next thing I noticed um, is that in some cut screens, uh, there's shaking. Um, it's just like certain angles, a uh, character will be shaking and whatever. I actually remember this happening in some old games just like by themselves, whether it's like the models or the collision detection or whatever it is. Um, but I did see this a few times also in this title, so I thought I would uh, call that out. Um, personally, I don't really mind. It's just whatever. Um, but some people, this might, I guess, be detracting from the gameplay itself. So the first quirk I see is um, audio. Um, and when you first set up the game um, for Dragon Age Origins, it's going to uh, start up with audio disabled. Um, this is really easy to fix. Um, here I have a little screencast of me just flying through the menus um, to show you where you could set this yourself. Um, but for some reason it defaults to off, so you just have to default it to on. The next thing that I see, and this is this happens in a lot of Proton games, um, is the video dimensions are off. So when you first start it up, it'll be uh, usually set to some really small square, um, so it might be like 540 by 540 or 960 by 960, um, which is just going to look really weird on modern day uh, monitors. So when you first log in, you'll just have to go to your display settings um, and change the uh, dimensions to look for and match whatever your monitor is. Um, again, not a big deal, but it's something that you're going to have to uh, change you know, before you actually start playing. And finally, um, we have the save game previews. Um, for whatever reason, the previews and save games are uh, all glitchy and not at all what you would see when you actually load the game. Um, this doesn't really affect anything because the game loads up fine and there's really no issues, uh, but yeah, it is kind of shocking to every time see just like some glitchy mess, which usually means in computer programs that something is going uh, horribly wrong. In this case, luckily, it's, it's not happening, but um, that is another thing I saw that was like obviously wrong, just isn't actually causing any problems. That's it for um, my quick dive into Dragon Age Origins, uh, my experience playing on Ubuntu with uh, Proton. Um, so let me know uh, in the comments uh, if there's anything I missed, anything um, that you'd like me to do in future um, versions of this, any games that you'd like to see me playing, um, anything like that. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video and want to see more stuff like this. Um, until next time, uh, see you later.